Hey, what's going on everybody? Inside this box, I've got a tool that will completely eradicate all the pests and enemies and even some algae. And there's no use of any kind of harsh chemicals or shrimp, nudibronch, anything like that. You wanna find out what it is? Stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and open this box. I pre-ordered this thing about mm, two months ago or so, and it finally arrived yesterday. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is a, it's an older technology, but made into a new kind of device or a new toy, I guess you can say, for reefers. As um, soon as I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And I wanna say I paid around 300 or 350 bucks for it. So it's a little pricey, but both of my tanks are pretty much just ridden with uh, Aptasia. So this is, I don't matter, the cost doesn't matter. You know, I'm, I'm ready to get rid of this uh, Aptasia. Bam, there we go. It's the uh, ITC Reef Delete. And basically what it is, it's a UVC LED in there or UVC light. I don't know if it's LED. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a little LED puck in there. And uh, it's concentrated through this little tube right here. You stick this underwater, there's a rechargeable battery inside here. And you basically, there's a little button you press and it's gonna send a very concentrated beam of UVC to a uh, pest and enemy. Um, and it's supposed to kill the pest and enemy. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what all comes with it. I got this thing packed tight in here. Okay, there we go. All right. Any tape to cut? Yep, of course. So, pretty nice packaging so far. And it's kind of just loose in here. <laughs> All right, they got me. I was like, hold up. So they got some cool glasses, some cool orange glasses. This is uh, to protect your eyes. And also, uh, I want to mention that uh, this, U this UV, you know, obviously it's bad for your eyes. Uh, this pen will not work unless it's underwater, um, as well as the UVC does not uh, retract or reflect or what, I, I don't know the word. It basically, it doesn't penetrate through the glass. So this card here, it's a card you can use the little pen to test it so you can see it'll react and you can actually hold it outside your tank while the pen is inside the tank and you can see if it'll react to give you kind of more comfort that you're not going to blind yourself with it. Refract, I guess that's the word I'm probably looking for. So they kind of got me here for a second. You know, I saw the book, the glasses, the card. I was like, wait a minute, there's no pen, but duh, I'm an idiot. It's under here. Set this to the side here. Here we go. Well, got it. it's kind of tricky here. I don't know who came up with this packaging, but man, it's uh, some pretty intense packaging. There we go. This thing's pretty heavy too. Comes in a nice little velvet bag. Here we go. So here's the actual device itself. And yep, there's like a little LED puck in there. And I believe this part unscrews. One of the parts unscrews where the battery is. I'll, uh, I'll get a little bit more familiar with this device. But this is just the initial unboxing here. And so we can see what it looks like. So yeah, pretty cool. Now let's check it out while, it, while I'm uh, using it on a, an enemy. Or yeah, Aptasia. Wow, have I been saying an enemy this whole video? <laughs> I do have an enemy in my main tank behind me there that I definitely want to get out of the tank. I want to keep it, but I don't want it in that tank because it's going to sting all my uh, SPS coral. So maybe I've been saying an enemy this whole time because deep down inside I want that thing gone. As you can see there, there is the UVC little LED. Come on, zoom in. There we go. So, to save yourself from being an idiot like me and already putting this thing under the water and trying it out and it not working, you have to unscrew it, take these little stickers off. Come on, focus. 
anyways take these two little stickers off both sides of the battery so this thing will work so one thing I had to do with this battery is take it out of the actual device and plug it in with a micro USB this light will be red when you first plug it in and once it's fully charged it'll turn green All right, so now let's go ahead and test this thing out. I'm gonna focus it on this Aptasia right here. All right, I got it on now. Let's see what it, how it reacts. Yep, and the little light here is blinking green which means it's on so I'm just gonna try to get that Aptasia just kinda keep it focused on there they say to do it for about at least 60 seconds and it says uh, it may take multiple days uh, to start breaking it down so I'm just gonna start right there actually let's go ahead and try to get, let me move the tripod here. Let's try to get that one right there in the middle of your screen. Got it on. It's definitely not liking it. I can kind of see the UV light sort of like reflecting off of it. It's like that whitish part right in the middle. So I'm just going to keep it concentrated on there. Okay, so after one treatment, you can kind of see part of the Aptasia is damaged, but it's still alive. It's still kind of moving there. Um, it is kind of like an off-white color compared to, you know, like normally it's like a brown brownish color. Uh, there's another one right there. Uh, normally it's going to be a brownish color, uh, but it's more like a off-whitish. Uh, I know it kind of looks maybe a little bluish or purplish, but um, it's still moving. Uh, I'm just going to focus on these two right here for now because these are the ones that I hit pretty hard with the uh, UV light. So I'll go ahead and follow up with another treatment tomorrow and I'll give you another update. Looking at this Aptasia from the side here, you can kind of see how it's a little bit more wider. Um, this one looks like it's taken quite a bit of damage, but it doesn't look like it's quite all the way dead yet. So we'll definitely come back tomorrow and hit it some more with that UV light. So this is day two after treating the Aptasia. I talked to the manufacturer of the pen and I told them that I hit it for about 60 seconds and they recommended to uh, use the light for about two to three minutes on each Aptasia. So that's what I've done here. And you can see they don't look happy but they're kind of rebounding a little bit as you can see that one's opening back up. All right, everybody, it's day three, so let's go ahead and hit these Aptasia again. The light is on, and I'm going to set it for three minutes. stop start a timer for three minutes three minutes starting now
And so here's the results after a three minute rest on the first Aptasia. This has been another three minute treatment. And that one right there is the one we just did for three minutes. And it's only been probably 30 seconds since I just started filming this right here. All right guys, so today is day four. I've had three days of treatment with the pen. So this Aptasia here, you can kind of see part of it's just a little destroyed. As well as this Aptasia right there in the middle of your screen. Uh, it just looks a little sick. It doesn't look as healthy as the other ones back there. <laughs> I can't believe I'm calling them healthy. Um, but it looks a little damaged. So I've used it for three days. Three minutes each day. Well, actually, the first day I did 60 seconds, and then I went back and did it for three minutes. And then day two, I did it for three minutes. Day three, I did it for three minutes. And so now this is day four. I haven't treated today. So as you can see, they they're not gone, but they are a little damaged. I also did this Aptasia right here in the middle of your screen, just one time for three minutes, and it looks pretty damaged as well. But it's still there. Uh, another side note, up in the front of the glass, there was a tiny Aptasia about, you know, like the head part of it, I guess, you know, like the opening. Um, it was about maybe a quarter of an inch at the most. And I did one treatment for three minutes, and this is nowhere to be found. You know, you can definitely tell that this pen is working just by, I mean, some of the previous clips you've seen. It's not some kind of a snake oil that they're trying to scam you out of your money. Now, you know, it's not going to be an instantly, you know, oh, I'm going to stick it in there. I'm going to kill every single one of my Aptasias within a day. No, it's going to take time. So definitely, you know, think about that before you buy this pen. Another thing is it is easy to use. I mean, literally all you have to do is stick this thing down in your tank, hold down the button, and it's going to treat that Aptasia. In my example... It did kill a tiny, tiny little Aptasia. Now these bigger Aptasias here, uh, again, it's gonna take a lot more work to actually get those to, to be treated and uh, gone. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, one of the last pros I have is it's definitely well built. I mean, it's heavy duty. Like if you throw this at somebody and knock them upside the head, you'll probably, you'll do some damage. You'll give them a bruise, you'll cut them, you'll do something. It's, it's well built, it's heavy duty stuff. Now for my cons, and the cons are a lot longer than my pros just simply because I came into this thinking I'm going to treat this thing once and, you know, one app page is going to be gone. I'll treat another one, it's going to be gone, and another is going to be gone. Well, it doesn't work that way. You're going to have to do several treatments like I mentioned just a moment ago. The button on this thing, it's, I mean, it's not hard to press, but when you're holding this thing for three minutes at a time. I mean, it really starts to dig in your finger. I wish this button was a lot bigger and just easier to press because it will start to indent in your finger and just make it pretty uncomfortable to hold for three minutes as well as your forearm. It's gonna make your forearm burn. So you're definitely gonna get a small little workout there. My next complaint is again, you're gonna have to do multiple treatments on each Aptasia you have if it's a bigger one in my experience so far. Now, something I've kind of just thought of while holding that pen is, you know, I wish it could be like a large device, you know, you can just like sit on the side of your tank or something, and there was like a hose that you can actually just run up into your tank, and then just so you can like hold the hose or something, something that's lighter, and then that UV LED, or the UVC LED is like on the end of that hose or something, so you can like hold that even longer, because it'd be a lot easier just holding the hose without pressing the button versus how it's set up right now. Like if the main unit could be out of water and you can like press the button, click it, and it'll stay on and you just put the hose in the water and all you do is just direct the light at it, I think that'd be a better option. But I'm not sure if that's an option because there is some safety concern with the UVC and it could, you know, blind you uh, as well as, you know, fish, small other small invertebrates. Um, so I don't know if that's really an option, but that's just something I want to throw out there. Now, this is not really a con, but 
uh, the first initial charging of this battery took three hours and you know I just wanted to throw that in there as well you know I thought maybe it would take about an hour or so you know at the most but it took three hours and, and again not really a con because you know in, in this hobby you got to be patient and also this device it came with a battery and you know obviously came with a pan but it did not come with a, a uh, charger so I was kind of bummed about that I thought maybe they forgot to put it in my uh, box but no this thing does not come with a charger and you know again you can kind of consider this not really a con because everybody in the world has cell phones so you're gonna have some leftover uh, USB cords laying around so I think that's why they probably didn't include that uh, cord in there because everybody's already got one and my last kind of complaint is the glasses that you get these right here I mean they're cool on orange but I wish they would have been clear and I'm not sure if they can be clear. I don't know why they're orange. The only reason I think they're orange is so you can see, you know, the uh, your corals pop whenever you got the blue light on. But, I mean, we already have plenty of orange glasses. We don't need any more. And plus, whenever you put this on, when you have it on and you're looking down, the glare of that light reflecting back into your eyes with that orange is just, I don't know, for me, maybe it's just the way I have my light set up. I mean, it was just almost blinded me. Now, now, if it was clear, you know, I could just, I don't know. I, I think if it was clear, it'd work a lot better. Again, just kind of not really a con with the device, but just I wish these would have been clear. And I'm sure I can probably find, uh, I forget what the rating is on these, but I'm sure I can find these on Amazon or eBay or somewhere, uh, some clear ones. But I just wish they would have came clear instead of this orange color. I mean, they are gaudy looking, but again, at the same time, they're pretty cool looking. Like, I guarantee you don't have any orange glasses like this. Unless you work somewhere in a industrial uh, place and for whatever reason they got these orange glasses. So yeah, guys, that's my pros and cons and my overall review of the Reef Delete UVC pen that's supposed to kill Aptasia and all other kind of smaller pests. Uh, if you want to pick up this pen, I'll go ahead and throw a link in the description down below. To where you can pick this pen up it's not sponsored or anything and i'm not sponsored i'm not being paid by them uh, if you just want to pick this up check out in the description below thank you for watching